Have you ever been casually scrolling through a website and find that your finger or thumb is constantly activating Android's long press gesture and highlighting a word? If so, then I can offer two different ways to customize this feature so that it adds a longer delay to when the gesture is activated. I have found that this happens more often on Google Pixel smartphones, but I've also had this happen on Samsung Galaxy and Xiaomi, Redmi, and Poco phones as well. Whenever I'm scrolling while reading an article on my smartphone, I notice that I am consistently activating this gesture. And there's actually two things that can happen here. The first gesture that you could be performing is just the typical long press gesture. This is sometimes called the touch and hold gesture. And that just happens whenever you tap and hold on a word within an article. This is a feature that allows you to highlight a word, phrase, phone number, or address so that you can copy it, share it, select the select all option, or perform a web search on whatever has been highlighted. However, there's another gesture that is sometimes activated and Google calls this a deep press gesture. This was added to Android back when Apple had its 3D touch feature and it's Google's way of speeding up the long press gesture. It works by Android detecting your finger or thumb going from a simple light tap to a more firm press. Android can see how many touchscreen pixels are activated during this transition, and it too will highlight a word that you're seeing in a website or in an application. I tend to activate both of these at various times while I'm lazily scrolling through some websites, and I found it to be really annoying. Thankfully, there are two ways that we can add a delay to this feature in Android, and it starts off by first opening up the settings application. From here, we're gonna scroll down until you find the accessibility option, and then we're gonna scroll again until you see the timing controls menu. This is where we can adjust the touch and hold delay setting, which is the parameter Android uses to determine how long we have to long press on something for the gesture to be triggered. By default, this option is set to short, which translates to about 400 milliseconds. So from this settings menu, we can change this to medium which is about 1000 milliseconds, or we can change this to long, which should be around 1500 milliseconds. So if you find yourself activating this touch and hold gesture on Android too often, then I would first suggest going to the timing controls menu and changing this option to medium. If you find that you're still activating this at inopportune times, then you can even come in here and set it to long and see how that works for you. However, some people have found out that going from 400 milliseconds to 1000 milliseconds on the medium setting is too drastic of a change. Having to wait more than twice as long to perform a long press gesture on a word or an application icon can make the operating system feel too slow. So like with most options within Android, we can fine tune this by using an ADB command. This does not require root access, 
but it will require you to have USB debugging mode enabled. And you will need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC so that you can execute the required commands. If you're not familiar with how to install these files, look in the video description below for a video that I have previously done that will walk you through the entire process. After USB debugging mode has been enabled, we're going to need to connect the smartphone or the tablet to the PC with a USB cable and then execute the ADB devices command. So here we have our command prompt up. And again, we're going to type out ADB space devices and press enter. And as long as you have USB debugging mode enabled, you should see a prompt on the phone asking you to allow USB debugging mode access. We're going to tap on allow. And then we're going to type out that command ADB space devices again. We do this to test and make sure our ADB tools is able to recognize to the device that we have just connected to the PC. If you don't see a response like this here, then you either haven't enabled USB debugging mode, you haven't authorized access when that pop-up appears on the screen, or you have some USB related conflict. This could be a USB driver issue, a USB port issue, or a USB cable issue. But as long as we get a response like this, with some letters and numbers to identify our Android device, then you are good to continue with the next part of this tutorial. So now we need to drop into what is known as an ADB shell. And we can do that by typing out the command ADB space shell and press enter on the keyboard. This should still keep you in a text prompt, but one that looks different than we saw before. This should actually display the code name for the device that you're currently connected to. And from here, we can then type out the command settings space put space secure space long underscore press underscore timeout add a space and then we need to add a number here. Now remember the short option for this feature sets the delay to 400 milliseconds and the medium option set it to 1000. So if having this set to medium made it seem too long, then let's try something like 600 or 700. So here's the command we typed out, settings, put, secure, long, underscore, press, underscore, timeout, and then the value. We're going to press enter on the keyboard and as long as you do not get any error here as long as it drops you back into another prompt then that means you have executed the command correctly now let's go to our phone and test to see if the time it takes for you to perform a long press gesture feels good for you if it still seems too slow then type out this command again, and this time use a smaller number than what you did before. I've seen people talk about changing this to something like 450 or even 500, as that seems to be a good response time for them. But we are all different, so experiment and see what you like best. Just know that you can always come back to the timing controls page within the accessibility area of the settings application and changing the touch and hold delay option 
back to short, medium, or long if you don't like what's been set within that ADB shell. You can see that since we changed this to a custom value, neither of these options are selected because we're, we don't have it set to 400, 1000, or 1500. But you can always come back here to change it back to what it was set to before. And you can always jump back into an ADB shell to change the value with that same command to something else while you continue to experiment to find out what feels just right for you. So let me know if this video helped you fix the annoying long press gesture issue on Android and feel free to drop down into the comments section below to ask any questions that you may have about this topic or anything else related to Android and I'll do my best to respond as quickly as I can.